Today is September 17th, 2013, and this is the day that we get to finally add another entry into the Grand Theft Auto series with Grand Theft Auto V. And this is why I'm a video gamer. These are the days that I live for. Um, when a game as big as Grand Theft Auto V is finally released, my hype has been to its utmost max uh, in terms of anticipating this game. I am salivating at the mouth just at the thought of playing this game um, within the next few minutes here. Um, what I like about the Grand Theft Auto games is that um, they're not released, ever since San Andreas, uh, they've been waiting quite a few years to release another entry into the game. We, we've waited five years for Grand Theft Auto uh, 5 with the release of 4. And ever since I beat 4, I've basically been, you know, thinking of what Grand Theft Auto 5 would be like. And, and I like that Rockstar makes us wait years uh, to finally play these games. I don't like playing a, a new entry into a series every year because I find that then it gets, um, you know, boring and it stagnates and it just doesn't really improve anything from the last one. When you wait five years for another entry, you, you, there should be a big enough improvement, a big leap in graphics, a big leap in, you know, innovation. And that I think is what's going to happen with Grand Theft Auto V. I would love for this to be another Vice City, but I don't know if it'll have the charm. I know that it will be an upgrade in terms of the gameplay. Most chances are, from what I've seen from the trailers, I have not actually played the game yet, but from what I've seen and what I've heard, it does seem to go into a leap into more things that you can do during the missions. Uh, but the thing that I love most about Vice City and why Vice City is my favorite game in the Grand Theft Auto series is because of the, the vibe that you get from the game and the, the charm that it has with all the different, you know, 80s characters, uh, the 80s setting, the 80s music, you get the total feel um, for, for where Grand Theft Auto Vice City takes place. And I'm hoping that Grand Theft Auto V can achieve that, uh, but if it doesn't, and it's just as good as the weakest entry in the Grand Theft Auto series, uh, which would probably be four, uh, which I still really enjoyed, um, then I'm fine. So, with that said, um, we finally have Grand Theft Auto V in our hands, right there! And uh, I did pick up um, the guidebook here for Grand Theft Auto. And because I picked that up, I also got a cover, which was pretty sweet uh, as an added bonus. I did pick it up at uh, GameStop, so it was a little bit cheaper. Uh, it's 20% off for the guide, and I was like, I'm, I'm not really going to use the guide, but um, I'm quite happy that I, I do have it. Um, more so as a collectible, but also to uh, eventually get all the... Uh, extra goodies in the game. I will play it through the game entirely without looking at the guide once, uh, but once I've beaten the game uh, and I'm just kind of going around, I, I would like to find out where all the nice cars, where all the nice jumps and all the extra goodies in the game are. And it is quite lengthy. It's about um, 430 pages, which is not bad at all. Uh, so I, I'm just looking at some of these screenshots here. I'm just... Uh, I can't wait to start playing this game. I can't wait. So, let's get on with the unboxing, shall we? Rockstar, one of my favorite uh, gaming developers by far. <laughs> I love the amount of uh, items that they have to list here. I'm taking my time with this one uh, because of the amount of love that I want to show for this. I didn't get the special edition or the uh, collector's edition because the collector's edition didn't really have anything that I really wanted and the uh, limited edition uh, was sold out by the time that uh, I did my pre-order which I probably shouldn't have waited that long for. And yes, it is thick. Uh, it's what I wanted to feel. Uh, there's quite a lot here. Um, so Rockstar did it right. They actually added a manual. 
A uh, nice little uh, discard here, I'd say. Too bad that the background is plain, but that works. Okay, so let's put this down and take a look at everything that, it's, is, that is included here. Okay, so there is the uh, Fly the Atomic Blimp, which is a DLC, I'm assuming, because there is a code on the back here. The manual. I like this. Just very plain and black. Uh, mainly just the controls, which is fine. And then it goes into the uh, French version, because I live in Canada. And the map. I love that Grand Theft Auto uh, includes maps, because they are very useful. I will actually be playing the game with this map uh, open beside me. And I did that for Grand Theft Auto 4 as well. And probably all the other Grand Theft Autos, just because it... I know my way around Vice City and Grand Theft Auto 3, but um, Grand Theft Auto 4, my goodness, it was much more useful to have the map. And that is gigantic. Like, look at that. <laughs> Takes up the entire screen there. <laughs> so there we have it. Grand Theft Auto 5. Uh, for the PlayStation 3, also on Xbox 360. Uh, pretty much the last huge hurrah uh, for the next generation consoles. Uh, this, <laughs> IGN actually did a piece where, you know, we can wait for the uh, next generation consoles because specifically of this game. And I kind of agree. Uh, we don't really need to jump ahead. I'm excited to jump ahead, but if we continue to get big games like this, um, if it li lives up to its hype, then we, we technically could wait. Uh, but I, I will let you all know what I think about this game after quite a few hours um, of playing it. I'm hoping to do an impressions video either today, uh, late tonight, uh, maybe tomorrow or Thursday at the latest. But um, I'm fully prepared to lose my life all to Grand Theft Auto V, so I will talk to you all much later. You've been bearded in. Beardage!